This video introduces you to the design of the My Sociology textbook. It's useful to students to have an idea of how the textbook proceeds through the topic of uh, society so that they can see how all the different topics fit together. The My Sociology textbooks begins with the topic of what is sociology as a discipline and the all-important topic of the sociological imagination. This is typical of most Introduction to Sociology textbooks. But in Chapter 2 is where this book deviates from the typical model. Chapter 2 begins with a discussion of the self, including the self-concept and one's social identity. The topics include the self, status, role, role-taking, the looking-glass self, presentation of self, and Goffman's dramaturgical approach. This differs from the typical sociological textbook, which starts with a discussion of the abstract paradigms, followed by a discussion of research methods, and then finally proceeds to discussions of culture and socialization and so on. In nearly 20 years of teaching sociology, I've found that students are often lost when we begin with the abstract concept of the paradigms. But they perk up again later in the course when we get to the topic of the self. So this text is designed to capture their attention from the very beginning and to help them pull together all of the concepts and understand the paradigms as a matter of practice rather than abstract um, an abstract concept. The sociological paradigms are introduced in chapter 2 briefly but and they are used along with research methods in every chapter through the book to explain the various topics of the chapters. But a separate chapter near the end of the textbook is devoted wholly to research methods and a separate chapter is devoted to the paradigms in detail. We continue with the concept of the self in chapter 3, but we expand it beyond the self-concept and social identity to the impact of culture on the self, including culture and socialization as well as the concepts of gender, race, and age. Gender, race, and age are discussed in terms of cultural identity. The concept of stratification by gender, race, and age appear in a later chapter. The next chapter, or the next two chapters, chapter 4 and chapter 5, represent a transition from the micro level approach to a macro approach with the discussion of groups. Groups in general are discussed and the influence of groups are a topic of these chapters both with regards to conformity and with deviance. Then Beginning with chapter 6, we give more emphasis to the macro level approach and look at institutions with society, within society. We look at structural issues such as bureaucracy for institutions and then use the family, religion, and education as examples of institutions in society the paradigms and sociological research are used to examine those 
institutions. We continue with the macro approach then in chapter 7 with our discussion of stratification. And the focus will be on stratification by class, sex, and race. In this way, we deal with the issues of class, sex, and race at the macro level, whereas they were dealt with at the micro level back in chapter 3. And then we have our capstone chapter devoted entirely to the paradigms in chapter 8, followed by a chapter devoted to research methodologies, including things such as validity, reliability, sampling, uh, and um, some basic statistics. And finally, the course ends by broadening the focus to a global perspective with chapter 10, My Whole World. So the model for this My Sociology textbook is one that is underpinned with the sociological imagination and flanked with both theory and research throughout, but that be begins with a micro-level focus on the self and then progresses to a meso-level focus a macro level focus, and finally a global perspective of society and the world. This has been a video that is part of a series of many lectures by David Strickland in support of the My Sociology textbook.